is that a lot of the universities want students and folks to bring in and let's just say you don't like the team or logo that's on there no more and you want to change it up well i wanted to see if there was a way to take this uh printed logo on the bag off and this is what i found out what you can do you can take your heat gun heat it up a little bit and turn it inside out and it'll be able to work on better but say you want to take off this logo this is what i you want to take some cutter backwood insect repellent all you're going to do is spray it spray it on there let it soak a little bit and I taped it off because I wanted to make sure that I just let it soak on that area so once it's soaked you just want to wipe it off really good wipe to give it a good wipe you'll start to feel that it starts to get kind of sticky so once you know that it feels like it's getting sticky you know you've gotten that coat you work that coat off as you can see it's coming off sticky right it's wanting to come off now now at this point once you got that coat off and it and it feels kind of sticky now you want to take it I'm using the soy and orange based Enviroripe on it all right got the drops on there working it pretty good working it real good right now so as you can see that took it all off so that's how you take off ink off a clear plastic bag now you can clean it up put your logo on it and make it your own Okay, I wanted to show you the other side. I used the Cutter Backwoods Insect Respellent to spray it down. There's the logo. Just spray a little bit. You don't want to get too carried away with it. Then you take your rag and then you wipe it. And you can feel it getting kind of sticky now. Once it gets to this point, that's when I take my other liquid of the Enviro Wipe. And I use that to finish the wiping of the logo. Now, as you can see here, I got it pretty much to where I want it and you can see the ink coming out but right here I'm fixing to get the Enviro wipe that you can purchase at NorCal with it it's a little bit expensive but man it works wonders there's something that um, Liberty Graphics Juan was talking about he uses xyl xylene maybe you can use some of that xylene because he says it takes off the ink and it might be a little bit cheaper than that Enviro wipe, so maybe you can use some of that to take the ink off. But as you can see, it's coming right off. It's like literally just wiping it off. I feel like one of those commercials, you know, those ones where it's like, Jim, wow, you know. <laughs> but no, I mean, you can use this to clear off the ink off the bag. If you want to put one of your logos on it or some neat flower design or something, you know, just use vinyl. I mean, it's just something you want to do and say, hey, I want to make that bag my own. You know, and I don't like advertising for somebody else. So, you know, I just wanted to see if it would work. And it turns out it did work and it worked really great. You can still see a little bit of a silhouette, but I mean, if you put a vinyl on it, you can cover it up. Now, I know you want to clean out the inside of your bag, and I haven't quite found out what I could use to kind of wipe up the cutter spray. I, I, I wonder if there's something else that I could use to kind of get that first coat of ink off. But you want to wipe your bag down real good. I wouldn't recommend putting the blue painter's tape on there because after I noticed when I peeled it, it left it kind of sticky, that sticky glue residue on it. So I had a hard time cleaning that. Yeah, so... As you can see here, this Cutter Backwoods 
insect repellent, took off the first layer, and then I used the Enviro wipe to clean off the rest of the ink. So, but there you have it, guys. A clear bag you can see through, you know, through both sides. You know, you can see my hand. I'm putting it in right now. It's, you can't see it, but I mean, I, I think the only thing that's left is just like a little small residue of the glue where the ink got pressed on it. But I mean, once you put your logo on the outside, or I'm not sure if you could put it on the inside if it still would come through or not, but I mean, it's something that you can try. But I just wanted to see if I was able to take off the ink off these plastic bags. I know you can't screen press on them because I don't think the bags are, are not porous, so the ink wouldn't dry. So I don't know what, you, what kind of paint you could use, maybe some acrylic. I'm not too sure on how to dry it, but I know you don't want to put your heat gun too much on it. So, but that's it guys. If you like, hit like, thumbs up, subscribe, and we'll talk to you in another video. Thanks for watching.